What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, your friendship, back at it again with another motherfucking commentary. And today, baby, we back at it again. We talking about some real shit, real life shit. You know what I'm saying? And today, I'm gonna be talking about something. Not, not many people have the balls, or they're too socially or politically correct, or whatever the hell they they too they too they scared of losing endorsement the opportunity, so they will not say how they actually feel. They just, they scared. But me, I'm not scared because I don't got no goddamn endorsement. But anyway, man. We're going to be talking about the Christina Leahy and the LeVar Ball interview, man. Now, go back to the interview. LeVar Ball did disrespect her. Let me not say that. Before I tell you guys my thoughts, I want to tell you before, I believe in equal rights for women. I wouldn't, I never believe in threatening women. And I, just, I, I, I don't agree with what he said, the reaction to what he said. But a lot of people don't know the whole story about what happened. If you go type in YouTube, right, type in Christina Leahy talking about LeVar Ball before this interview, 100% of it's negative. I'm be, I'm be real. And you, I don't have a problem with criticism or, you know, being a critic, like, that's fine. You know, as long as you criticize on something that deserves to be criticized about or something that you, like, you have evidence, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say, like, LeVar Ball said he's better than my group. We have evidence that it's not true. So if you talk about, hey, that's stupid, I don't have a problem with that. But whenever you start to, like, like Christina Leahy, she attacked LeVar Ball's parenting skills. And it was unwarranted. Like, she said that she felt like LeVar Ball's sons are scared of him because Lonzo was quiet. And he, LeVar does most of the talk. I understand maybe Lonzo, like, I would just, I just think that, I just think that Lonzo's quiet. You know, that's what I thought. I thought about it. Lonzo's quiet. He doesn't do a lot of talking, and LeVar Ball's loud, so he talks. Simple. That's what I'm really sure most people come to. But she took it a step further and said that Lonzo is scared of LeVar. His, so he makes his sons play basketball. What's the likelihood that three sons play the same sport? He's forcing them. Pretty much questioning his parenting. Like, that's not, that's not talking about his shoes anymore. That's not talking about LeVar Ball's comments, like, about Michael Jordan. That's, him, that's her attacking him as a parent. And me, as, me, as if I would have had a child and somebody was telling me how to raise my child and telling me I'm doing a bad job, whenever I think Lonzo, LiAngelo, and LaMelo are all good kids. Come from where I'm coming from, they not in the streets. They not here getting in trouble with the law. They all play basketball, and they are going to get full, probably going to get full rides to play college, and maybe two of them go to the NBA. That's a damn good job raising kids, in my opinion. But she took it a step further and questioned his parenthood. And so whenever he came on the show and he said, hey, man, stay in your lane. Now, me, you know, on slang, maybe the Chris Bissard, they made me mad on the show because nobody even, like, you know, even said anything about it. Like, you know, the interview that she said before attacking him personally. Nobody brought that up. But she came, he came on there and he said, stay in your lane. Now, me, where I come from, stay in your lane means, hey, man, stay over there. You stay with you. You stay over there and I'm going to stay over here. I said it to dudes. Stay in your lane means, like, hey, man, stay over there, you know, stay good or whatever. And so I didn't think much of him if he said stay in your lane or stay over there, you know. So that's what I say to somebody, I'm not trying to be bothered. Stay over there, I'm going to stay over here. Stay in your lane, I'm in my lane. That don't mean stay in the kitchen. And I don't understand why people interpret that as stay in the kitchen. Now, LeVar Ball has to be co consistent on, you know, if people trying to critique his brand or critique his shoe, saying, how about you go make that? Like whenever the, another interview, he was like, the dude was like, why don't you drop the price of $100? He's like, no, why don't you start a company and drop your price of $100? So he's consistently said that. I don't think he was trying to be uh, sexist towards women or nothing like I don't. I think he's just saying, a, saying in a slang way and nobody, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm saying just what, what I took from the interview when I seen it. The only thing I did not like was the threat at the end. I did not agree with the threat. I don't know what he was getting at by saying that. But yeah, I mean, if somebody attacked your parents, I wouldn't say I would react like that, but I kind of understand why he reacted like that with her, by her trying to act like she didn't understand why he was upset. That made me mad. Like, well, why he didn't understand why he didn't talk to her I didn't understand, you know. So, just my simple thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it might be wrong, it might be right, just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, I do not agree with the disrespect. I don't agree with whether he went away, but I understand why he felt that way. But yeah, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, enjoyed anything I had to say, man, leave your boy a like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, um, I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. And like always, peace and love, man. So let's show your boy a video. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your female, tell your uncle, tell your grandpa, tell your grandma, baby. I don't care who you tell, just tell somebody. And like always, you boy, your fresh out, out, man. Peace, love, butt grease. And yo, okay, I'm not gonna say it.
Vaya. <risa>